Welcome to another edition of For All Seasons on the thedpost.com. I'm Todd Murray, joined as always by former WVU quarterback Fred Wyatt. And Fred, the Mountaineers coming off a, a bye week. The Kansas State Wildcats are in town, the 11th ranked Kansas State Wildcats in town for senior night, which is always a special night for those players whose careers are coming to an end here. Uh, I, I know they didn't necessarily honor uh, seniors when you played, but I, I'm sure it, it had to be a special time for you. Well, it was, and, and of course, uh, thinking about you never thought those days would ever end, right. like that song said. Uh, and it was a, sort of a sad time. The, I can remember the last practice when we walked off the field. That's probably one of the probably one of the most famous football pictures at the university. There were five of us that came in together. We mm -hmm. all walked Bruce Bosley, Sam Uff, right. Joe Marconi, Bobby Moss, and myself walked off of the field that last practice night. It was a sad time and um, because it had been such a great time. Right. Great for everybody, great for us, great for the fans. People were, they still, uh, we had a lot of, we had a meeting on Wednesday and had a lot of people that were there that had, that had seen us right. play and uh, they were, when they talk about it, why the, if they're old and uh, then they're usually 80 or something like mm -hmm. that, but the, when they talk about it, why it meant a lot to everybody. Right. And as emotional as it probably will be Thursday night at Milan Push Star Steam, the, the players have to kind of put that aside. They've played their fifth top 15 ranked team in, in Kansas State. Uh, the, the only win they have in their previous four was the one against uh, then number four, Baylor. But obviously, this is a huge game for the Mountaineers trying to end that two-game losing streak and you know end the season on a on a high note uh, would you expect the Mountaineers to be you know, pretty fired up Thursday well I always think that I the players if you're going to play you'd be f fired up right. and uh, it doesn't always turn out that way but I would think uh, Thursday night uh, night game here uh, and uh, Playing again, the, I believe you said they were the fourth ranked, uh, or what ranked? Uh, uh, they're eleventh ranked. Eleventh yes. ranked. Well, that's you know they only rank they only list twenty five of right. them, and so that's uh, they're in the top uh, part, and uh, an opportunity to better themselves or better the bowl game that they can go to. I'm not sure what the lineups are, but I'm sure two wins at the end of the year is better than one loss and one win or two losses as far as uh, which bowl you're going to get mm -hmm. to go to. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it was it was huge just getting bowl eligible this year after last year's disappointing four and eight season that uh, they, had, they had been to a bowl every year since 2001 before that was uh, snapped. Uh, last year, so obviously they've had a turnaround, but but you don't want to just be satisfied with what you've accomplished so far, right? Was was still a couple games left in the year? No, no, you don't. I remember we, I remember I used to travel with the uh, with the scholarship uh, uh, function or the and as a speaker, and we were finishing up over in Martinsburg. The guy that went to Notre Dame or went to Ohio State, I can't think of his name now, a nice guy, but he coached over there and he got up and made a comment about because we'd lost the Sugar Bowl. Mm -hmm. And I remember saying, yeah, I know. I said, we, all of us in West Virginia, we can't wait to see which minor bowl game you're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> and people in the audience went, oh, you know, and right, it was sure. the end of a long trip, and, uh, but, uh, but 
th that's the truth of the matter. Right. I mean, two wins would, I'd say, m mean a lot as far as which bow you were going to get. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We'll see how it plays out Thursday night. Fred, as always, thank you for your time. You're welcome, And Tom. please uh, continue to follow our WVU football coverage on thedepost.com.